What up, everybody? It's your boy, Chris Plugs. I'm doing a little thing here for Peel Magazine and uh, the Peel video. So we decided to do a little day in the life, show some real slapping, going out in the community and just putting up stickers wherever we could. Getting out film for you guys to show you what it's all about. Um, been into graffiti since I was 13. You know, I'm just going to the city with my family, visits. Friends, family members, see museums, whatever. I used to see all the graffiti up on the trains, rooftops, and the walls, and it inspired me. And I got involved. You know. Years later, back in the city again, walking around just like Dave and Holly did, and I'd see stickers all over New York. At the time, it was mostly graph style stickers, you know, throwies, autographs, the occasional obey giant here and there. But I knew right then and there that that was something I had to do. I had to be involved in that. And I went home, got everything I could. Anything that I could stick to something that I could put a marker to, I would sketch on. You know, put them all over my high school. When I got in college, put them all over there too. You know, go around town, just put them up. I loved it. You know, stickering was as important as bombing to me because my stickers would be up for weeks, months, years. Some of them are still up from way back in the day. Where'd you go up bombing? and hit maybe 5, 10, 20 walls and half of those get bumped within a day or two. So then Peel Magazine came out a couple years ago. One of mine brings me a bunch of magazines for my birthday and at the bottom of the pile is Peel Magazine. I remember opening that bag, taking out the stickers that came with it. I read every word on every page. I read the ads. I read the how-to articles. Everything. I brought that magazine all over the place. And then I got issue after issue. It was amazing. Not only did I find the magazine just incredibly well done, but I love the fact that Peel took a chance and showcased everything in the graffiti world that wasn't traditional graffiti. You know, from stencil art, poster art, stamps, stickers, vinyl toys, anything. They really focus their attention on what the artists were doing and what those artists were trying to represent. And it wasn't just a representation of what was going on in New York or the United States. It was about artists all over the world. And for me, that was incredibly important because the sticker scene just really is not as big on Long Island as it is in the city. It's, it's actually pretty small. You know, there's a handful of guys doing it. There's really only a handful of guys out there doing it. So to get inspired and see what was new and fresh and where the art scene with the stickery and the stamp scene were going, I have to go back to the city and just see what was going on until Peel Magazine came out. Now I had a magazine, the website goes up, book comes out, and now they're doing this movie, and it's all furthering the scene, and just showcasing what's going on, and the variety of how much is actually out there to help people express themselves, and the Elias Gallery, you know, dedicating themselves to showing 
other styles of art that these artists who are known for stick dance dancing are capable of as well. And then, of course, you have like the pseudo celebrities in the scene. You got Shepard Fairey, you got Banksy, you know, getting them brought into more of a public light. And just really watching the scene expand. And Peel was right there with that expansion, you know, doing everything they could. And, you know, for me, I felt it was just so necessary. You know, getting that first issue of Peel was like getting my first copy of Subway. You know, it was. It became the Bible for you know, a sticker on it, you know? And uh, I love it. It's super psyched to be a part of this you know, documentary that they have going on. And it doubles for me being from New York, knowing what we went through with 9-11, knowing that Dave and Holly came out to help out and do whatever they could. And then the result of Pure Magazine comes out of that in a couple years later. Really kind of warm my heart. A lot of respect for everyone out here in New York. Those guys, you know, Dave and Holly doing that thing with Bill Magazine. So, while you're watching this, I hope you like what you saw. It's a little expose of how we do things. Day in the life, you know, going all over the place, putting stuff up. Just showcasing how, how and where I came from. So, it's been your boy, Chris Plugs representing Long Island, New York. I want to send a huge shout out to Dave and Holly and dedicate this entire film in loving memory to everyone that was involved or affected or no longer with us due to the events of 9-11. And, uh, you know what this is, son, right? This is a vamp. This is a vamp. This is a vamp. Drop your shit. I want your paint, your black book. Give it up now. Next time, you need to study hard before you come into the home of the masters. This is real street bombing.